Hiya, my name is Mick Whitaker. I'm one of the um, marriage pastors at Audacious Church, along with my wife, Wendy. Uh, I want to leave you a little devotional regarding marriage, something for you to think about and pray into. First in, in scripture, in Genesis 2, we find that the union of man and woman is God-ordained, meaning that it was God-instituted. It's not... Um, uh, it's a God-instituted union of man and woman, not a human invention or an evolutionary development. It's interesting that when we look in the New Testament in John chapter 2, we also see that Jesus performs his first miracle at the wedding in Cana in Galilee. And it's a well-known story where he turns the water into wine. And the, the comments that were made at the wedding is, that, you know, you've saved the best till last, the best wine. Whereas it was more common um, to serve the best wine at the beginning and then take that away and keep putting out the cheaper wine. Because by this time, nobody would know the difference. I believe that God saves the best till last in many things. Just when you think God can't do any better. He turns up and surprises you and goes beyond what you are able to ever ask or imagine. God is good. And the same is true in your marriages. Uh, in our present day, marriages are under pressure from all sides. Social media, society as a whole devalues marriage as something obsolete and outdated. But in Matthew 19, verse 6, uh, there's, a, there's just a little nugget. So as they are no longer two, but one flesh, therefore... What God has joined together, let no one separate. God stands by marriage. He instituted it and he puts his all into it. God doesn't do things by half measures. We need to hold fast to God's word. It's eternal and it's unfailing. A good, strong marriage uh, with God at the centre is a bedrock for communities and societies as a whole. It's no wonder that they're under attack. Whether you're married or planning to be, it's vital to include God at every stage, to seek him for wisdom, guidance and blessing. Marriages may be uh, made, <laughs> made in heaven, but they come with a DIY manual saying assemble on earth. They take commitment, perseverance, love, lots of that, forgiveness, lots of that too. But they also take vision, hope and faith. You've got to take the whole package into a marriage to get the best out of it. They are journeys full of adventure. It's so important that God is involved in every step. Remember that he wants the best for you. Marriages and miracles go together as well. And we're in the season of miracles. We're looking to God to do the extraordinary, to do above and beyond what we could ever ask or imagine. We should look to God for miracles in our marriage journey. Miracles in all areas, children, moving house, career, finances, wider family, your health. There are so many opportunities to build faith and see God at work within your marriage. Trust God with your marriage and know that he wants the best for you. Just a couple of prayer points. It'd be fantastic if you could pray for God to be at the centre of marriages. Start with your own, but at the centre of marriages full stop because they are under an onslaught, countless pressures from outside and from inside for, through all the things I've already mentioned. Secondly, if you could pray for those who are planning for to get married, those on the pre-marriage course, those people who are planning to get married this year, because it's a, it, it, oh, it's, you know, it's the honeymoon period, isn't it, at the beginning? But marriages take work and effort. And that's why we see so many start off so well, but end so badly. We need to build marriages centred around God. And lastly, but by no means least, to begin the adventure of miracles in marriage, you've got to take the adventure. You've got to look to God to go above and beyond what is the miraculous you're looking for within your marriage context? God is waiting to do miracles in you and through you. Hope you have a great day.